Hey guys, we're back here to do another vlog. We are now in, uh, we're now in Delta to um, head out to Vancouver soon and then we're gonna turn around after we're done in Vancouver. But I wanted to take a little, um, a little break here at the Swanson Mall here near, here, I guess it's in Delta, but near the US border to show you how our bed works. I'll open the door here and there's my lovely model of Carrie. Yeah. So as you can see, we have a pretty good couch mode here that you can sit on. It's about, how long is it, babe? Seven feet? Seven feet, yeah. Seven feet, so, you know, easily two people can sit on it, right? Super comfortable. Yeah. You can kind of put your arm around it as well. Like it's, yeah, it's a pretty nice lounging couch. It has, what was the thickness of memory foam that we used? Two inch. Two inches. So a lot of you guys might be wondering, like, where, where do we sleep if we have, like, a, a couch, right? And there's two of us. Well, it's actually a convertible couch, as some of you guys may be able to tell. It sits on tracks, basically. So, I'll show you guys, I guess, how that works pretty quick here. Let me just open the back door. Alright, I'm going to hop over here. Okay. So, the bed is actually made out of two main components. It has this bottom, this bottom cushion. It's built onto plywood with these rails kind of underneath. And then there's an identical segment up top. The fabric pattern is a little different, but it's actually built exactly the same way. They're both two feet wide by seven feet long, which is about the length, the effective length of the van on the inside. And the width is, well, two feet plus two feet is four feet, which is the width between the wheel wells on the van. So it's basically using the effective space that we have in the van. So, what we'll try to do here, because this is going to be a little diff difficult, normally we do it with two people, but, <laughs> and I only have one hand this time. So maybe you can come over here, babe, and do this end, and I'll uh -huh. do that one. Okay. I'll show them here how it works really quick, too. Do you get your shoes on, actually? It's okay. Okay. So, the way this works here is that these rails are attached, can you lift it up, actually? These rails here, they're attached to the plywood, and they make sure that the bed doesn't move forward or backward on its frame, right? So these notches here that it sits into, they're opposite kind of on each side, so it can't go forward and it can't go backward. As you guys can see, we also have lots of underfloor storage here, and the big storage base in the back of the van are also used. So, really effective. And the power inverter for electricity is up in the front, but I'll do a separate video on that. So, on this side, Basically the bed sits on these two tracks that keep it forward and back. It's kept from moving this way to this way just by friction because this wood obviously doesn't like scrubbing against this. And then on the other side, there's also little holders for the tracks. So basically, these two posts, posts one and two, sit into these. And then the third one, way down there at the end, I have a separate post for it. So let me get on the other side and we'll show you how it converts fairly easily into a bed. So I'll set this one out of the way to start with. All right, baby, ready? Let's pull it over. Oops. I might have pulled it too far on my side. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can you, does it come over anymore on your side? Yeah. There. Okay, if it seems a little finicky sometimes, that's because it only goes in one way to make sure that it's properly kind of locked into place before you step in it and have it fall over. So there's only like one possible angle at which it sits on all of them. And then once it's sitting on all of them, the two pieces of the bed kind of keep each other from migrating any, in any direction. So it makes sure that nothing comes loose. And Needs to come over yeah. a bit more. Did it pop in there properly? Yeah. yeah. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. So piece number one is in place. Now we'll do the other side. You can show the battery now. Yeah. There's the inverter down there. I'll do a separate video on that more in depth later. Now, when we're actually going to bed, we're pretty fast at this. We can do it in like, oops. <laughs> we can do it in like a minute flat. Yeah. But just to kind of show. Well, and just to kind of show it a little bit better, I want to take my time. There we go. 
Okay, now the second piece, this is gonna be a little bit harder because like I say, I only have one hand. But basically, it sits behind this side's vertical posts that are two by sixes. So it comes out and then sits on these rails here and then we slide it forward. It also only fits in one position. So once again, if it kind of looks like we're fiddling around with it, that's because it only clicks down in one position so that you can't get it wrong basically which is kind of a, a safety feature, I guess we'll say. Okay, ready? Lift out. And forward. There we go. That pop in? Yeah. 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 And like I say, basically because those vertical two by sixes, that they're, they go in opposite directions, each piece of the bed only fits in one way. So it can't, you can't place it wrong and have it fall in the middle of the night. And I just did that by making each two by six kind of go in the opposite direction. There we go, pretty comfortable bed. <laughs> and uh, to show you guys, when I actually sit up on this bed, well, maybe you can film me actually for a sec. Yep. When I actually sit up on this bed, I'm not hitting my head or anything because we designed it. I notice a lot of people in their vans, they put their bed up really high and then I see them sitting in their van like this. This one is designed so that any not extremely tall person, I'm 5'10", won't hit their head. So ours is, I think, eight inches off the floor, maybe, which still provides us with lots of space underneath to store stuff. And as you can see, I can lay down, no problem at all. I'm not running off the bed. I think there's even more space up here. Oh yeah, there's lots more space. Yeah. So as you can see, no shortage of space for a person of average height. Fit two people pretty comfortably. Now, one last thing I'll show us guys before we before we go is how this thing is built. Um, Carrie, maybe if you could step over on the on the other mattress. I'll show them underneath how this thing is built. Mm -hmm. Because it's actually really simple to build um, a couch like this. There's the framework and stuff, and that's gonna vary depending on your van, how you do that. But for the actual um, basic idea, which is the, the bench, it's really simple. I just took, I think it's, half inch plywood. Can you see that okay on the camera, babe? Yeah. Okay, I basically took half inch plywood. Then we got really dense memory foam. It's a little bit pricey, but the denser the better. Mm -hmm. Like you wanna get high quality stuff because it's so thin. If it's too thin, you're gonna fall through it kind of and collapse the foam. So we got really nice high density foam. We probably spent about 200 bucks on foam. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, for this whole thing. So it's not that bad, but you know, probably one of the pricier parts of our project here. And then we put batting all the way around, which you can buy in a fabric store, just ask them for batting. We got our fabric, make sure you have enough, right? And then we basically just put it all around and stapled it. You can search YouTube videos on how to make a bench in 10 minutes. And our bench that we made pretty easily and fairly cheaply, except for the foam, which was a little, a little pricey, but good quality stuff. Yeah. We did it for but super, Super simple and super cheap. Yeah. So almost anyone could do that and, you know, make it worth their while. Pretty simple system. And what's also cool about this is that rather than having a bed in your van all the time, taking up all the space, I'll take this, you can just have sort of a hybrid method where we have a really good couch and also a bed to use. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. That's it for today. Uh, have a good sleep, guys.